हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट माइकार्डियल इन्फॉक्शन द वेरियस स्टेजेस ऑफ माइकार्डियल इन्फॉक्शन इज इजीली रिकोगनाइजेबल फ्रॉम ईसीजी थ्रू द फॉलोइंग फेजेस फर्स्ट फेज इज आल्सो नोन एज हाइपर एक्यूट फेज नेक्स्ट इज फुल्ली इवॉल्व फेज एंड देन द क्रॉनिक स्टेबिलाईज फेज These are the following ECG changes in hyperacute phase. First of all, there will be increased ventricular activation time or VAT. Now, what is ventricular activation time? It is the duration from the beginning of the Q wave up to the peak of R wave. The ventricular activation time in hyperacute phase may reach beyond zero point four five second. and sometimes it may even cross 0.6 seconds next change will be increase in r wave amplitude there will be slope elevation of st segment and lastly there will be tall and wide t waves next stage is fully evolved phase and clinically most of the ecgs we see are in fully evolved phase fully evolved phase can be nicely demonstrated by the following diagram the infarcted zone consists of a central core of necrosis which is surrounded by an area of injury and injury is surrounded by an area of ischemia if a lead is placed towards the infarcted zone it will recognize the necrosis as a deep qs wave it will recognize the injury as st elevation with concavity downwards or convexity upwards and it will recognize ischemia as inverted symmetrical t wave so this is the picture of a fully evolved stage of myocardial infarction with negative qs complex okay or a deep q wave pathological q wave and then st segment elevation with convexity upwards and a deep symmetrical t wave inversion the next phase will be chronic stabilized phase this is nothing but the gradual resolution of all the changes in fully evolved stage the st segment comes back to normal almost in the isoelectrical point the t inversion gets corrected and t becomes upright and sometimes even the qrs complex regains some of its positivity though the pathological q wave may persist for some time this is about chronic stable phase now how do we localize myocardial infarction how do you know that which area or which wall is involved we can know this from various leads first let's talk about left ventricular localization inferior wall of the left ventricle is represented by lead 2 3 and avf okay so if there are changes of myocardial infarction in lead 2 3 or avf we can think that there is involvement of inferior wall if the classic changes are found in v1 to v4 the area involved will be anteroseptal wall lead 1 lead avl and v4 to v6 anterolateral wall lead 1 avl and v1 to v6 extensive anterior wall involvement lead 2 3 avf and v5 and v6 inferolateral wall only v5 and v6 involvement of apical wall now for posterior wall myocardial infarction conventionally we do not have any electrodes there to record the event in the posterior wall so we have to depend on the anterior wall leads that means the leads which represents the anterior wall because anterior and posterior wall they are in the same plane so we have to look at the leads chest leads v1 v2 v3 specifically in v2 if we find that in v2 
there is the mirror image of the classical fully evolved stage of mi that means there is involvement of the posterior wall suppose in v2 or v1 we are getting a picture like this tall r wave st depression with concavity upwards and upright tall and wide t waves so the mirror image of this will be somewhat like this a qs complex okay d pathological q wave st segment elevation with convexity upwards and symmetrical t wave inversion so the mirror image of anterior wall leads looks like just the fully evolved stage of mi so in that case if either v1 v2 or v3 is showing this picture so we can think of there is involvement of posterior wall now how do we diagnose right ventricular myocardial infarction right ventricular myocardial infarction is not so common because of the less muscle mass in the right ventricle or maybe because of its good collateral circulation so if there is inferior wall mi associated with st elevation of more than or is equal to 1 mm in lead v1 we can think of involvement of right ventricle this is because if there is inferior wall myocardial infarction there should have been reciprocal changes in right sided chest leads that means in v1 or v2 or v3 but if there is instead of reciprocal changes means instead of depression if there is st elevation of more than or is equal to 1 mm we can think of involvement of the right ventricle also if there is failure of reciprocal st segment depression okay failure of reciprocal st segment depression to develop or reach an appreciable depth then this is also suggestive of right ventricular myocardial infarction or if suppose the st segment is elevated in lead v1 and it is depressed in lead v2 that means there is discordant relationship or of st segment in lead v1 and v2 this is also suggestive of right ventricular myocardial infarction how do we confirm the right ventricular mi for that we have to take right sided chest leads that is v4r v5r v6r and then we can confirm the changes of mi in right ventricle how to diagnose subendocardial infarction this is not so well defined but it is said that if there is st depression along with deeply inverted t waves in mid and lateral precordial leads and as well as in standard lead 1 and 2 this is suggestive of subendocardial infarction now a little bit about ecg changes in acute pericarditis because this can be one of the differential diagnosis of myocardial infarction as because there is also elevation of the st segment in acute pericarditis but the only point which is not suggestive of mi is that there is concavity upwards or the st segment elevation is of saddle shaped whereas in case of myocardial infarction the concavity is downwards for st segment elevation or say in st segment elevation there is convexity upward in case of myocardial infarction and concavity upward in case of acute pericarditis and these st elevation in case of acute pericarditis will be global that means in almost all the leads we will be able to see the st elevation and very importantly there is no reciprocal changes in case of acute pericarditis whereas in cases of myocardial infarction we will see reciprocal changes in other leads thank you